Hey, what's going on? How is everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. The body beat down here, Michael, on this Sunday morning. We're doing something a little different today. We're making some homemade chicken soup. I haven't made this in a very, very, very long time. I don't eat a bunch of soup anymore. I just kind of have my main diet that I follow. So uh, we're gonna make some chicken soup. Now what you haven't seen yet is I had two rotisserie chickens uh, that were a couple days old and I need to get rid of them because we obviously weren't eating them quick enough. So uh, I took two rotisserie chickens, uh, put the chickens in the pot, rinsed out the containers that they were in into the pot so we get some of the nice juices from the chicken in the pot and it's got about, about so much water in it two chickens and we're just going to kind of get those boiled up and kind of get some of the juices and stuff kind of flowing into the water that I dumped in there and that's going to help with the chicken broth so and on top of that we also have some uh, chicken broth in this, which is supposedly good stuff. I don't know. And we have two more chicken broths, some noodles that I'll put in later, some diced tomatoes, a can of some corn, a red cabbage. Some Italian parsley, Italiano, some uh, celery, some carrots, and some potatoes. Potatoes. So, let's take a look see at the chicken in the pot, shall we? So, making soups are fairly easy. You can make them as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. And uh, back years ago, I kind of figured out my recipe for chicken soup, how I liked it. And technically, it's not two rotisserie chickens. It would be just a nice baked raw chicken that you put in the oven and bake. And I take all of that, all the juices that it creates, plus I put a little water in there in, in the baking thing, whatever, casserole dish, whatever. Anyway put a little water in there with the chicken and then all the juices that it makes is what I use for my broth and uh, makes a really good soup and just keep the ingredients simple and I've even kind of complicated things today by getting the parsley and probably the uh, corn I don't always put a lot of stuff anymore and if I do make it so uh, just keeping things really simple makes the soup a little bit better and you can actually taste what's in there instead of just a bunch of stuff so I just found that uh, over the years that it was I couldn't get the soup taste that I liked and uh, it was because of some of the ingredients I was using so sometimes less is more uh, less is more less is better so anyway I'm gonna let these chickens kind of boil up a little bit assess the broth kind of from there then we'll add in the store-bought uh, broth and uh, get the potatoes and the carrots going because you definitely want your potatoes and carrots to be done celery I don't mind if my celery is a little crunchy not crunchy crunchy but if it has some texture but my carrots and my potatoes I definitely want done so we'll get those going so Hope you enjoy, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And we'll be right back with a little bit more. All right, what I've decided to do is go ahead and dump the carrots. 
into the pan that I've got the two chickens going in. Just to go ahead and get them a head start. Now we let our chicken, our chickens uh, cool off so we can uh, take them apart and put chicken in there. We'll let these sit for a little while. Now we'll peel some potatoes.
because we're getting really close to being done. Basically, I just gotta take all the chicken off the bones and all that, put it in, and uh, then a little bit before, uh, not too long after, I'll put the parsley in, because that cooks down pretty quick, so. Anyway, soup's looking pretty good. Again, we gotta let the carrots cook down, the potatoes, celery's gotta cook down a little bit, and uh, yeah, it's turning out pretty good, guys. I think we're gonna have a good bowl of healthy soup. Let's take one more look at it before we put the chicken in in the next clip. Let's take a look. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that. Good looking stuff, guys. So guys, from here, we just let it kind of cook on down and finish the process, and we're good to go. Now I'm gonna turn this on extremely low, and uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. And when I get back, we'll see what's going on with it, and it should be ready to eat. So guys, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, maybe I give you some tips and ideas on how to prepare a soup. So we'll see you in a little bit, guys. We'll see you. All right, guys. So we're gonna do the finishing touches. I was gonna make this separately and have it served separately if people wanted it. Because like I said, sometimes the noodles, not sometimes, but all the times, noodles like to blow up and get gross. So, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add them in. Just because I feel like doing it. Let's go for it. So, there's probably about a cup, a half a cup or something left off in there. Won't do them all, we'll just do a few. So we're gonna let those noodles get to the point where they are finished. And we're going to go ahead and eat, and it'll probably be a little bit of a late lunch and an early supper, but I'll also eat again later because this is pretty healthy and you can eat, you know, you can eat a good bit of it and feel pretty good about yourself. So it's looking pretty good, guys. Uh, we'll check back in in a little bit, and that's when we'll have our bowl and uh, enjoy some of the fruits of our labor. Stick around, guys.
girls, many pearls, naked squirrels. As you can see, uh, doing things homemade is uh, easy. If I can do it, anyone can. And uh, it just takes a little bit of time, a little effort. It's, it's gonna take more time than just popping open a can of soup and sticking it in the microwave. It takes a little bit more time than that. But uh, when it's all said and done, it's really worth it. So there's nothing wrong with some canned soups sometimes. They got a lot of sodium, but you know, then again, a lot of the uh, broths and stock that we use, if we buy it off the shelf, it has some sodium in it as well. Uh, I did get the kind that uh, was unsalted, uh, that didn't have any salt in it. Um, so I, I try to be mindful of that sometimes. Um, I don't use a lot of salt, but there's some foods that I will use salt on and soups and chilies are one of them and french fries and tater tots. So try to be mindful a little bit. You can find some other things in the store that's unsalted or less sodium. And uh, always try to go that route if you can. Uh, especially if you got high blood pressure, cholesterol, and all that mess. So, uh, and here lately I've been drinking Sprite more than I normally would. Like the last maybe couple of months, maybe. Uh, I'm having like maybe three or four a week. I don't know why. Just, I guess, to break up all the monotony of water, because that's all I drink. So, anyway, I want to take a bite, but I know it's going to be hot. It's steaming. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that turned out good. Some of my red cabbage. Good stuff, man. And uh, one thing I like about one thing I like about this salt here is it kind of stays around a little bit. It don't seem to melt away in the food. Sometimes it seems like regular salt kind of goes away kind of quick, I guess, maybe. Uh, but this here is Himalayan pink salt. So, uh, yeah, we, we pretty much keep this in the house anymore. Uh, we have regular salt as well, but we keep this a lot anymore. So that's what I like about that. It just seems like there's, it's uh, got a good stay in. It kind of stays around on the food. Man. Mm. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the little video. And uh, sorry about some of the background noises and stuff today, but like I said, I have my wife here one time and my boys are here and my grandkid is here and I might have the dish machine going and the laundry going. And so, you know, uh, sometimes you're gonna have them noises. But uh, I'm gonna finish my soup up, guys, and uh, enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I maybe showed you how to do something that you've never done and maybe you try it. Uh, if you do, uh, let me know in the comments, or if you have done it before already, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you do. Uh, that's what this channel is about, is connecting. I like connecting with people. That's why I've got the channel. And uh, I also did a quick little mile and some change walk. Go check out that video as well. I'm also doing a drum video today uh, where I celebrate kind of my one year anniversary with playing on the drums, having my first drum kit. Technically it's June 7th, but I'm gonna do a, a little uh, video today. I'm gonna try and live stream 
And if YouTube will let me play music and live stream and drum, then I'll do that. If not, then I'll just, I'll cut the live stream and just have to do a, a regular video. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the channel. Find something out there that you enjoy watching. I got a lot of videos. I got playlists you can go look at and, and uh, categorize everything for you so it's easier to find stuff. And if you find a little bit of enjoyment with the video, maybe I inspire you to do something even making soup or making noise on the drums or lifting a weight or going for a walk or doing something. I don't know. If I give you a little inspiration, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down, your soup making host. All right? Get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!